In 2009, our son Philip went to uh, Lake Arietta in Polk County with his cousins to swim and wakeboard. About four or five days after that, he came to us and said that he had a headache before bedtime. He didn't have any fever, he was doing okay, so we let him go to bed. By the next morning, uh, he was hard to wake up. And Tim rushed him directly to the pediatric ward at the hospital where he works. It, he was found uh, pretty quickly to have a severe meningitis. Uh, and in three days, he was gone. Philip passed away on August 17, 2009. It wasn't until his autopsy that we were informed that he had Nigleria fowleri meningitis. Tim and I are both doctors who are specialists in serious diseases and serious infections. And we couldn't save our son. We don't want this to happen to anyone else. Amoebic meningitis has only been documented from uh, activities that force water up the nose, like water sports in lakes and rivers. It's 99% fatal, but it is 100% preventable. You just need to keep water out of the nose. Use nose clips when swimming. Keep the head dry. Keep the head out of water. Be aware and know how to swim safe in fresh water that hasn't been chlorinated. If I could tell you one thing that Philip would want you to know, it would be to enjoy nature, but to remember that natural bodies of water are alive. We want to keep this disease as rare as possible, so it's very important to us that people be aware of how easy it is to prevent. For more information, we have a website, amoebaseason.com, that has lots of information for the public. It also has a section for health professionals.